Take the eek out of high E. Let's practice flute. There was a request for how to play high E more comfortably, specifically in regards to solo of the month um, and this month solo the Passard Andalus. So number one, long tones, long tones, long tones, long tones. Those are the answer to just about everything that happens on the flute. Another thing that you might practice next are harmonics. General harmonic practice, yes, absolutely. For now, I'm just gonna do the harmonics that involve the high E. So starting with the fingering of A. The low E fingering. The low C fingering. Growing intervals will help you feel like you can approach that leap from the B to the E more easily too. Starting with a target note, E. Let's grow the interval. E, D sharp, E. E, D, E. E, C sharp, E. E, C, E. E, B. I'm doing that one again, because that's the interval that we have in this piece. B flat. A. I could work my way down the entire range of the flute, but I'm gonna go back to that B for a second. comfortable with the intonation tendencies that I'm having today. Bell tones, forte, mezzo forte, mezzo, piano, piano, and then a decrescendo. I'm gonna do the A minor arpeggio on an A. Whistle tones. And my favorite, undertone harmonics. Fingering the high E, I'm gonna purposefully underblow it and see how much or how little air it will take me to actually get to the high E. Now that I've warmed up my high E a little bit, I'm gonna go back to the B, E interval. And I'm gonna note, add the note before, which is a C, C, B, E. Add the A. And I like to think of a springboard, so I'm gonna lean into the note before the leap. A, C, B, E, and then just kind of float up to the E. A, C, press into the B, float to the E. And then that run will feel much more easy. And 
happen several times. Happy practicing!